thanks to German Knife Shop for sponsoring Everyday Tactical Vids. German-knife-shop.com Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is the Barracuda Pro from Army Tech. As you can probably tell, I mean, just by looking at this thing, this is meant to be a thrower. So there are a couple different Barracuda options out there by Army Tech. They reached out to me and said, hey, do you guys want to start checking out some flashlights? I have never used an Army Tech flashlight before. And so I said, yeah, let's check them out. So I got four different lights. I'm going to talk about this one. And in a separate video, I'll be talking about an EDC slash headlamp. And then I've got, what's the third one? Let's see. I've got a uh, like kind of a medium sized tactical light. And then the last one is a standard EDC size. So this is the Barracuda Pro. Um, runs off two 18650, 18650 batteries that they sent to me. And it also runs off some CR123s. I'll take four of those to fit into your tube here. So let me give you some of the details on this thing and then we'll take it out into the night and use it. So one of the things that's interesting about this light and some other Army Tech flashlights that I've been checking out recently is that they have multiple Firefly settings. So just as a heads up, there's an extremely low one and then a still quite low but a little bit higher uh, level. So that's something that's different than I haven't seen on any other flashlights out there to Firefly settings. So your Firefly on this is 0.15 and then the next Firefly is 1.7 lumen. So again, obviously very, very low lumen output. Then your next three settings are 30, 150, and 350. And then it's gonna go up to your turbo options. And this one actually has two different turbo options. One is 800 and one is 1500. So obviously this thing, like I said, is a thrower, but it's also set up to mount on a weapon. And they say this can stand the shock of any gauge weapon. Um, a couple initial things I wanna let you know. So you've got a couple different ways this is set up. Uh, first thing I want to tell you is that there's a little bit of information here on the sides. This says warm light and I'm going to mention this um, when you see it at night because I've already seen it uh, as far as like what the output looks like. But it looks almost incandescent like pr probably between LED and incandescent with the output. It definitely has a, a bit of a, a warmer yellowish tinge to the light. Alright so there's your end pressure switch. Your two different settings, the way you're going to do it is you're going to tap it 15 times and then lock it in on 16 and you'll see it flash. So watch this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That gave me one flash, that means it's on the first turbo setting and that's gonna be in 800 lumens. Now I'm gonna do it again 15 times, lock it in on 16, that's gonna bring it up to that 1500 output for turbo. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, lock it in. And you saw those two flashes, that means that when I turn it on now, it's going to go onto that 1500 output. So you can see there's no selector switches on it anywhere, anywhere just this end pressure switch. Um, it does come with some O-rings, it comes with a sheath, which I'll show you in a minute, and it also comes with a lanyard and obviously the instructions. Now, this is set on that setting, so when I turn it on, it's at 1500, turn it off 1500. If I set it back to the 800, same thing for the turbo setting. Now, if you want to go to a setting that has multiple outputs, you're basically just going to twist the head of the light a tiny bit and now you're gonna watch it actually there's the strobe it's gonna cycle through a bunch of different settings here so it's got the two fireflies and then it's gonna go all the way up here comes strobe so that's kind of your multi setting and then you've got your strobe setting so that's interesting that you can set it up that way without pressing any buttons you can go between two different setups that like high output setup and then the multi option setup um, you can see that smooth reflector in there obviously made to throw the light as you can see, there's no texturing on it whatsoever. Very smooth, and I would just say very like metallic feeling. When you hold it, it's not very like refined, um, but it does feel solid in hand. Um, and I can tell you that despite the fact that it's got that big head there, so despite that fact, it feels really easy to hold. Um, I'm gonna roll in some footage here that you'll see of me using it at night, and I was just driving through the woods trying to spot animals. I didn't have a whole lot of luck, um, but I'll show you how it throws at night. And then um, I was driving, you know, down a dirt road and I would just go like this out the windows that I had rolled down and it didn't feel like, oh, this is like really awkward to hold. As, as big as it is, it's, it's, I don't know if I would say it's, it doesn't feel compact, but it, it doesn't feel like a big hefty light like you're holding it like this. So I was able to drive and then boom, turn this on, shine, drive, boom, turn it on, shine. And again, that output, I don't know if you could see it probably not on camera but even when I shine it on the ground here during the day you can tell it definitely has a warm feel to it. Let me just give you a real quick sense of the burn times for the different outputs. So at 0.15 lumens it's going to run for 500 days, at 1.7 85 days, 150 lumens 22 hours, um, 
350 lumens, eight hours, 800 lumens, 2.8 hours, and 1500 lumens, one hour. And I've looked around on the instructions here, and uh, there's nothing about like a drop down. Uh, you know, after it burns for a while, it's gonna drop down. So I have used it, it definitely does get hot, but I did not see any significant drop or any drop in the light output as I was using it. So that's kind of cool. It's not, you know, 1200 lumens for two minutes and then drops down to 500. Seems like it's gonna run at that high output for a while. So there's some details on the light. Let me grab you the sheath and show you what that looks like. And then we'll uh, give you some night footage so you can see what it looks like in the darkness. Here's a look at your sheath system. Obviously you can see it's a pass through there. So you can run that on your belt. It's got hook and loop and then a fully stitched in loop as well. Plastic D-ring there. And it also comes with this case which has some information on the front. But the great thing is if you want to keep this in your car, now you've got a case as opposed to just bouncing around. Uh, one thing I do want to note is that it comes with an additional well, you can see number three right by my middle finger there. Comes with an additional like single tube if you want to just run one tube instead of two 18650s. Um, it doesn't give you a ton of information about that. It says batteries, two 18650s. Then it says next to the number three, body one times 18650. Um, but I mean, if you're going to get this thing, you're going to be using it with two 18650s, 18650s, I would imagine. So that's how I'm testing it. That's how I'm checking it out. So there's the light. There's your carrying case. And let's uh, get some night footage here. Okay, outside now with the Barracuda Pro XHP35 High, and we'll go through the different settings. Let me show you the, the low lumen settings first. So here's 0.15. We'll go up to 1.7 here. So it works. I mean, you can't really see anything on camera other than when my hand is up nice and close there. Okay, looking off into the distance here, we're going to do 30, 150, and then 350. So there's 30, 150, 350, and here's 350. So first thing I'll tell you is that as I shine this, it almost has a little bit of an incandescent look to it. It's got a little bit of a yellow feel, which is in interesting. So definitely a hotter center. Uh, with a little bit of spill out from it, but this thing is definitely made to launch out into the darkness um, But yeah, definitely a little bit of an incandescent feel. Let me show you the 1500 setting So I mean obviously as a, uh, a Spotlight that's gonna send some light out into the night. This thing definitely works We're looking at my cars now. We're about probably I'd say 70 feet away So you can see it uh, definitely has a hotter center, but it gives you a, a pretty good spill out from there. So the flood is, um, it's when I'm aiming this right at the front of our white minivan there, I could see probably 75, 80% of the uh, driveway as well. But you definitely get a clear sense that center is the hottest thing out here. Out on the side yard now, and we're going to put this light to use looking at the shed and then into the woods beyond it. Let's head back into the woods. So as you would expect, it's definitely gonna throw light out into the woods. Uh, one thing is about, you know, when you're out in the woods, you've got trees and so when you, you're not gonna get like a long clear pathway often that's gonna shoot the light out into the woods. But as far as I can see, if I could see well. Let's give you a quick look here at the strobe. So warning, here comes the strobe feature. So you've seen some nighttime footage of the light there. Um, I've had it for a couple weeks. Let me offer you some thoughts on the light. Construction, good. It feels really solid. feels nicely made. Um, I don't think it's going to break on you uh, easily at all. Um, the fact that there's no button to go through the selections, I kind of like that. The twisting of the head, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, I definitely would prefer something to click or something to click in place as opposed to like, well, how far did I turn it? That type of thing. Um, but the fact that they have multiple settings, I think that's, that's cool. It reminds me of the... Uh, Phoenix PD35 TAC, that there's different ways to set the light up as far as how it's going to work uh, in like a tactical or an everyday carry hunting mode, the different setups. So um, yeah, I mean the overall construction is good. It definitely throws light quite effectively. Um, the big challenge for this thing is going to be the price point. It's around 140 up to 160 depending on where you try to purchase this. Now that said, you know, we're talking about long-term durability if you invest that amount of money in a light. 
So if it's gonna last for a really long time and never break in you, then maybe you won't invest that much. But um, there are other options out here that are out there that are gonna throw light well, that are not gonna be as expensive. And um, I think just for a lot of people, they're gonna say 160 for something that's giving me under 2,000 lumens of output is not gonna cut it. Now that being said, if you've had an Army Tech Light and you, you've used it for a while and it's lasted and it's been awesome and it's super durable, um, I'd like to hear those thoughts. I mean, these guys say, Army Tech says that their lights are super durable, so let's hear your experience with them. If I had like an AR that I was using for like hog hunting or if I was running a shotgun and I wanted a big beefy light, then I would consider using this. Sometimes your maximum like high output is not the goal, it's just the right amount of light for what you're using for your application. So I want to hear your thoughts on this light from what you've seen and especially if you own one and let's uh, let's get that conversation started in the comments section. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.